Hey guys, it's Friday, June 7th, and today I thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit about my mother and um, how our relationship has changed over the years, um, especially since I came out to her. So growing up, she was kind of just like another one of the kids. Uh, we enjoyed playing Super Mario together, we played Donkey Kong, played in the yard. Uh, she was a stay-at-home mom, so we spent most of the time with her. My mother grew up um, in a Christian household, as did my father. So when it came to their idea of homosexuals, a lot of it was based from the Bible. And so, because of that background, and because we came from a very, very small town, uh, they were pretty anti-gay. And during the entire time of my childhood, they would, you know, periodically say derogatory things about homosexuals. So before I even really understood that I was gay, um, I already had this idea in my head that it was this absolutely horrible sin that you're going to burn in hell for all of eternity for being. And um, so obviously that scared me and made me think that, you know, being gay was this terrible thing. So I couldn't possibly be gay because I'm a good person or so I wanted to think. And so whenever I came out and uh, turned out that I was gay, that was really hard for me to deal with. And um, of course I hid it from my parents for many, many years. Of course being a teenager you're going to have your issues with your parents and there's going to be that little power struggle. So I don't think that there was anything really out of place during that time. What really made my relationship with my mother go downhill was when my older sister came out of the closet. Uh, of course, this wasn't by her choice. Uh, she was outed by another relative, and my mother called her while she was at work and just questioning her and questioning her. Uh, I come home, and my mother is on the couch bawling her eyes out on the phone, and uh, she could barely talk, so I couldn't really ask her exactly what was happening. I asked her a ton of times, and she finally said, you know, Ash it's Ashley, and I said, oh my gosh, what happened at the time she wasn't living at home? So I was thinking she got into a car accident or something, but um, you know, she finally, she's just like, she's gay! And I, for the first time, looked at my mother and cursed her out. I've never cursed my mother out before, but she had me so worried, so scared, I thought my sister died. And turns out, you know, she just came out. And after that time, my mother went on antidepressants. Uh, for about five years, she was um, addicted to them. Seeing her harsh reaction to my older sister coming out made me want to stay in the closet even more. Um, but if you watch my coming out video, you already know kind of a little bit of what's going to happen here. So whenever I finally came out, because um, my little sister outed me, it was, for me and how I felt, it was 10 times worse. I was 17 years old, couldn't leave the house, um, I was trapped and I started hating my mother. Uh, there was probably about a two week period where I was like, okay, no, I really hate her. I really just, I don't know. I don't know what else to do because I didn't know what to feel. You know, I thought this woman who I, you know, loved because she's my mother was treating me so horribly, saying things that I would never imagine coming, you know, could come out of my mother's mouth. Um, looking back, I realize now that it's just a totally different perspective and um, you know, I was looking at it like I was the victim, I was the only one in this, but you know, that's a lot to deal with. I asked my mother recently, um, why did you have such a hard time accepting um, me and my sister whenever we first came out? And her reply was, you know, I always wanted like a normal family for my children. And I was like, what? <laughs> She's like, well, you know, like I wanted them, to, I wanted you guys to get married and have children and She's like, but now, now I like my grand doggies. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, mom. I guess when my sister and I came out, I kind of took my mother's dream and crushed it, which is hard to say. It's, you know, it sucks being me saying that, you know, I crushed my mother's dreams, but at the same time, I can't change who I am. Um, but since I came out and um, there was a period of time where our relationship was very strained and I would not say we were friends or anything. But, um, you know, as the years passed and we talked more openly about things, she came to terms with it. And she actually, you know, she's accepted me and I would say that we're pretty, I would say that we're friends. You know, I'd say we're friends. I mean, we still have the son-mother relationship. But I mean, we talk about anything. 
I mean, literally anything. And I'll call her just to say hello, I call her just to, you know, talk about boy issues, or whatever it may be. Though coming out has put a huge strain on our relationship, I'll have to say that, in the end, it's made our relationship ten times better. Because before, when I was in the closet, I felt I couldn't talk to my mother about anything. But now, I feel like everything's an open book. And I can say anything to my mother, and she can say anything to me, and we can joke about stuff. I don't know, like, I, you know, last week she was here for a whole week, and then I went up and I spent the weekend at my parents' house, and during that whole time we just laughed and had fun, and um, it was pretty awesome. So mom, I know you're gonna be watching. I love you. And uh, for the rest of you guys, um, I don't know. Talk to your mothers, I guess. Or your fathers. Or whoever. Maybe your grandparents. Just talk to them. Be open. Remember they're human. You know, they are just another person on Earth. Alright, you guys will be seeing me next Friday for another video. Alright. <laughs> Bye. No idea what that was at the end there with the, the rocking and the, I don't know, crazy. Hey guys, it is Friday, May 31st, and I am here with my mother. Hi. Uh, and what we thought we'd do for today is the accent challenge. So uh, let's start that out. 